Starting with Oxygen version 20.0, publishing data content was greatly enhanced with the introduction of the concept of Oxygen publishing templates that define all aspects of the layout and style of web help responsive output. In this video demonstration, I will introduce you to the concept of the Oxygen publishing templates and provide an example of how you can use one of the built-in templates as a starting point and then make some small changes to customize the web help responsive output. The possible benefits for using the publishing templates include you can use any of the existing built-in templates as a starting point for future customizations, the customized template packages are easy to share with others, custom template packages remain intact even when you upgrade Oxygen to a new version, a publishing template can be easily integrated with a continuous integration publishing system. Each Web Help Responsive publishing template is a package that contains a descriptor file and various resources. The descriptor file controls the template package by defining the references to the other resources in that package. First, let's introduce you to the built-in templates. You can see them by editing a Web Help Responsive transformation scenario and going to the Templates tab. There are two primary layout types, tree and tiles, and a variety of color schemes. You can click on tags at the top of the pane to filter the templates and narrow your search. Next, I'll show you how you can do some simple customizations starting from a built-in template. To demonstrate this, I'll use a simple documentation project. I'll apply one of the default transformation scenarios and it produces a nice clean output that I can use as a starting point for my customization. Ultimately, I want my output to look similar to this one. I have particular logo and graphics, a particular font, and I want to use a blue color scheme. Back to the transformation dialog box, I'm going to select that same template and click Save Template As. I'll give it a suitable name and description. Next, I'll choose the name and location of the exported template. The saved template is packaged into a zip archive but since I need to modify some of its files, I first need to unzip it. I no longer need the zip archive, so I'll delete it. And then I'll add the newly created folder to my project to make it easier to access the files in Oxygen. Next, I'm going to open the template descriptor file. Now I'm going to make some changes to several cosmetic aspects of the template. I'll modify one of the color tags to blue. Note that I can add as many tags as I want. They will make it easier to filter and find the template in the transformation scenario dialog box. Next, I need to change the preview image of the output, but I first need to add the graphic resources to my project. So, I'll create an image folder inside my template folder and drag all the graphic files I will later use in my customization. Logo, background, and a preview image. Back to the descriptor file, I need to change the preview image element to point to the correct image. This is the image that will be displayed for my template in the transformation dialog box, making it easier to identify. Note that the Content Completion Assistant is available when editing the descriptor files. Also, I no longer need the other existing preview image, so I'll just delete it. For simplicity, I won't include a link to an online preview of the template, so I'll delete that element in the descriptor file. Next, I'm going to start adding some custom features. Remember, the three things we want to accomplish is to add a logo, change the font, and change the color scheme. First, I'll add a logo element in the Resources section and point to my logo file. Now, let's see how it will look. 
First, I need to add my new template package to the gallery. So back in the transformation dialog box, I'll click Configure Publishing Templates Gallery. Then I'll add the folder that contains all my custom templates. After I click OK, I select my Space Theme template and apply the transformation scenario. The logo looks OK, so now I'll customize the font face and color. To do this, I'll use a custom CSS layer that will be added on top of the base CSS from the template I started from. So back in Oxygen, using the actions available in the project view, I create a new CSS file inside the publishing template folder. Back in the descriptor file, I'll add a reference to the newly created CSS file, after the reference to the base CSS. Back to the output created earlier, I need to identify the element I want to customize, so I'm using my browser's inspect tool to look for its ID. Now that I have the ID, I can write the CSS rule that changes the styling of the publication title. First, I'll set the color, then I'll import a font. I'll use a Google font called Orbitron since it's fitting for my space exploration project. And I'll set it as the font for my publication title. I'll also set a slightly bigger font size. Now I'll transform my documentation project again to see how it looks like. Note that the publication title is now rendered with a new font and color. In a similar manner, I'm adding more CSS rules to change the color and font for more components. Once again, I'll transform the documentation to see the result. And it looks great so far. Now I want to add a background image in the search input component. Back in the CSS, I'll add a new CSS rule that sets a background image. Since the reference to the image was added inside the CSS file, the transformation process needs to know where the image is actually located, to copy it and use it in the final output. This is also the reason why I need to declare the image in the resources area of the descriptor file. I'll run the transformation scenario again, and this is how the output looks like. One final tweak, I want to change the color of the main page tiles to a light blue color. These were just some very basic customizations, but with some creativity, the possibilities are virtually limitless. Now I want to share my new template with the rest of the team. So I'll go back to the transformation dialog box once again. I'll select Configure Publishing Templates Gallery and I'll switch the option at the bottom of the Preferences page to Project Options. This means that the association between my documentation project and the gallery of publishing templates is now saved at project level. Since my publishing template package is part of my project, when I share it with my team, they will have access to the template customization and the associated transformation scenario. And this concludes this demonstration. As always, thanks for watching.